hey you guys welcome back to my channel so in this one i wanted to talk about the importance of not only decentering men but going as far as depedestalizing you know relationship and marriage and even de-romanticizing romantic love if that's even possible now this video was inspired by a trend that i saw on tiktok months ago where thousands you guys and i do mean thousands of women were talking about the fact that they have never been in a long-term relationship now keep in mind these two men were anywhere from 19 to you know the mid late 30s most of them being you know in their mid late 20s and i was so fascinated by these stories you know uh as someone who has been in several long-term relationship and who has been married who is divorced i just you know thought this is an interesting perspective to see a woman uh my age or you know probably most of them women who are like a decade younger than me uh talk about their uh experience never having been in a relationship but soon enough I have remarked a repeated team okay a lot of these women were talking about how they couldn't wait for their life to start how they can't wait to meet the love of their lives and i have to say i was kind of concerned watching all these videos because if you believe that the love of your life is someone else than yourself then i have a bridge to sell you and you're probably naive enough to buy it you guys ever wonder why in every Disney movie, in Cinderella, in Pocahontas, they never show you like the happily ever after, you know, the stories usually ends where, you know, the two people get together and there's a reason for this, right? I wish actually that, you know, little girls and young women were shown or told what the reality of being in a long-term relationship is like. Not that it's anything bad, but I do find it concerning that some people believe that there is a living, breathing human being that has the capacity, that's the key word in this sentence, you guys, to love them more than they can love themselves. Now, I'm not denying that there are probably humans out there who have someone outside of themselves love them more than they love themselves. But in my opinion, those people need to work on self-love. They need to work on loving themselves more. And ladies, I really wanted, you know, to caution you here about thinking that a man can love you more than you can love yourself that someone else outside of yourself have your best interest at heart this could be very very dangerous this is how women end up in very abusive relationship where men tell them don't nobody else is going to want you you know especially when there are kids involved and this is how women stay and endure abuse for years and years and years and years and you know the bottom line is your mom lied to you okay my mom lied to me so don't feel bad love is is not guaranteed ladies a romantic relationship is not guaranteed and you know as sad as that may be in life nothing is guaranteed you are not owed anything now i know this sucks and i know nobody wants to hear this but it's reality right so i don't want for you know most of you guys according to my analytics are 24 25 and i don't want young ladies to base the entire you know coming happiness on meeting someone on finding someone i think it's very detrimental of women to think that you know their life is going to start the day they get married the day they get partnered the day you know they have a baby this is a very dangerous narrative you are alive today your life has already started as a matter of fact right if you are healthy hell even if you're not healthy <laughs> And if you are not, my heart goes out to you. Your life has already started. So ladies, do not think that, you know, something is wrong with you because you're not partnered. Something is wrong with you because you're not married, that you're worthless because you're not partnered. Like the narrative that, you know, there's someone out there that could potentially complete you is a very dangerous one, ladies, because you are already whole if you get nothing else out of this video understand this and this video is not to discourage women from you know being open to partnership and romantic love but it's about not you know putting it on a pedestal so much so that if you don't have it you know you feel like something is inherently wrong with you women live fulfilled life without ever getting married without ever being partnered without ever having children there's nothing wrong with that as a matter of fact you know there's a recent study that proved that people in a relationship argue at least two times a week and that's in healthy relationship okay baby so thank god for 
peace okay because the girls talk a lot about decentering men decentering men decentering men and i think that's great but the reality of the matter is there is no decentering men as long as a relationship is the goal right as long as we pedestalize marriage being in a relationship being a mom right as long as we romanticize motherhood and i'm going to make a dedicated video about that there is no decentering men you can't decenter men if you pedestalize relationship if you pedestalize marriage right you can try but you're gonna fail right as long as you put marriage on a pedestal as long as you put relationship on a pedestal men are going to be you know in the center of your life because you know at least if you're a heterosexual woman because you need a man to make that you know marriage happen to make that relationship you know happen to become a mom so i really wanted to you know emphasize the importance of understanding that you are the love of your life baby girl there is no living breathing human being hear me out when i say this that has the capacity to love you more than you love yourself not unless you're a toddler and i know you guys ain't toddlers okay so don't play me please 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 work on enjoying your life by yourself first be happy first and foremost alone and yes, maybe, you know, in the beginning of a relationship, in the infatuation phase, the hormones can make you feel as if you are happier. But I can promise you that that is a short-lived experience, right? You know, soon enough, you're going to go back to your baseline and then there are going to be good days and bad days, just like when you're by yourself. So I want young women to focus on their hobbies, on traveling, on learning new languages, okay? Learn how to do your hair, your makeup, I don't know. Get into creating YouTube videos or start a business, I don't know. No, ladies but do not focus all of your energy on you know men and trying to get one and trying to keep one because the truth of the matter is you can't keep a man that doesn't want to be kept okay like as you know this is not said often enough but that's reality you know women are out here how do i get my man not to cheat what honey listen go find if you don't go and find something to do with yourself <laughs> I'm just, you know, messing around you guys. I understand that I'm rambling by now, but I really want to drill this into you guys' mind. You know, if you go out there in the world, putting your happiness into someone else's hand, understand that if they have the capacity to make you happy, they also possess the capacity to make you miserable because a lot of the times, you know, people forget this. If you put your happiness in someone else's hand, understand that you are also giving them power over you or power to make you miserable as well. So tread carefully with that okay first and foremost behold be healed invest into therapy you know we all have trauma minor or major you know if there's no perfect human being there is no perfect parent that's something i say all the time and if there is no perfect parent then we all have something we could you know use to heal off so please invest in that invest in being the best version of yourself travel make friends i don't understand how women can be so lenient with men and how we can be so hard you know with each other i feel that way too many of us are too male identified why right? i know women who are staying with men who constantly forget their birthdays men who can't keep a job or refuse to keep a job right because they can they just don't want to right and they forgive and they stay with this man and they make excuses for them this man cheat on them they have outside babies on them you know potentially exposing them to hiv and they constantly making excuses for this ancient man but yeah you know a friend spending 50 dollars on your birthday when you spend 100 dollars on hers is where you draw the line like sis be for real for real okay too many of y'all are male identified please give the grace to the sisters to other women as you give to all of these ancient men y'all stay with men who don't even remember it's your birthday talk less of spending fifty dollars you know men who get you nothing okay so please let's also work ladies on you know being graceful towards each other you know being lenient towards each other having the grace and the forgiveness that we have for this man you know let's work on extending that grace as well to the sisterhood i feel like that you know is what is needed most and more than you know investing it in most men because most men are not worth partnering as quiet as it's kept you know most men don't even like women this is something that i wholeheartedly believe that if they didn't need us you know for sexual activities i believe a lot of them would not even you know engage with us so get into just being happy by yourself and again stay open if you find a man with whom you are genuinely compatible if he comes out and court you if he's doing right by you i'm not saying you know this is not a video against romantic love against relationship of course i'm not against them why should i be right but it's just saying 
go out there and live your life and enjoy your life and if you meet someone in the process who is respectful and compatible with you then obviously be open to love be open to being partnered with him but don't make it your entire identity don't make it a life goal okay there are women out here who have the means to buy a house who ain't buying it because you know they feel like oh that's going to be you know intimidating for men who don't want to buy a big you know suv even though they can afford one because they feel oh that's going to intimidate a man and yes are there men who are going to be intimidated by that absolutely but that's the wrong man for you baby like i mean who wants insecure men anyway like yikes okay don't nobody need that uh i understand that this video was all over the place ladies and i was rambling in the most of it honestly but i really really felt it in my heart today to encourage you guys to live your own life you are your own person you are whole go out there and enjoy your life wholeheartedly if you do in the process meet someone you know a life partner to accompany you to this journey amazing great you know be open to that if you don't Live your best life, okay? Because newsflash, we all die alone. Oh my God, that's crazy. First of all, even if you were partnered or married, you are still very likely to die alone because men live shorter lives than women, okay? So most likely, your husband would die before you. So this talking point from, you know, mis misogynistic, crazy men is a stupid one. And second of all, dying is an inner experience, okay? Now, I'm not stupid. I do understand how having someone holding your hand while you're passing on, you know, to the other side can make the experience less scary but being married or being partnered it's not a guarantee of that right like how do you know for a fact unless you die in a car accident with your husband right next to you that he's going to be there with you right he could be in the bathroom if you're in the hospital he could have gone out to get you you know to call a nurse or get you some medicine or i mean the possibilities are endless okay you could be married be partnered and still you know have your husband your spouse your wife not be there while you're passing on so please let's retire this tired talking point about dying alone because we all die alone okay dying is an inexperience don't forget it anyways you guys it is so so hot today in germany and i have these lights on me as you can see i'm sweating like crazy so i'm gonna go outside and take a walk if you made it out to the end of this rumble really i'm grateful and appreciative of you please do not forget to like comment right in the comment section down below let me know you know what are you doing to de-center man and you know refocus all of your energy time and money on you do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well and i will talk to you guys soon bye guys Mwah.